What's good everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's vlog is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare.com is an online education and learning platform. It is a community full of teachers and educators who have created these incredible courses for people like you and me to join in and learn something new. I love Skillshare because even though I've been taking photos for 20 years and I've been a professional photographer for like 10 plus years, there are courses on there for advanced photographers. And if you're an absolute beginner and you've never used a camera before, there are loads of incredible courses for that too. Filmmaking, photography, production, editing. Maybe you wanna start making some videos. Maybe you wanna explore filmmaking. Maybe you're not interested in the filming bit, but you wanna learn how to edit. There are courses on filmmaking, editing, production, lighting, acting, script writing, Skillshare also has an incredible app with all their courses on, so you can learn on the go. One of my favorite courses that I'm doing at the moment is about productivity for creators, starting a successful side hustle by Ali Abdal, who is a doctor and a YouTuber. Hey everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a doctor working in the UK, and on the side, I run a seven-figure online education business and a YouTube channel, which has just hit 1.5 million subscribers. There's 18 lessons, a total of an hour and a half. I've got so much from it in terms of learning how to be more productive as a creator, as an artist. Ali is an incredible human being. The coolest thing about Skillshare, I think, is that it's less than $10 a month to subscribe to, and you get access to all of the courses. You've got interior design, graphic design, e-commerce, learning how to sell things online. There's so much on there for your dream side hustle. Just get stuck in. The link is in the description and the first 1,000 people to click that link and sign up will get a full 30-day premium subscription for free. You've got nothing to lose. Click the link in the description, get your 30-day free trial. And thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. What's up everybody, rise and shine, welcome to Cape Town. Welcome to another beautiful day of being a human on planet Earth. It's raining today, which is fine because it's been such beautiful weather recently and we kind of need some rain and it's kind of coming into winter as well. So far today I did some yoga and I sat in meditation um, for like 45 minutes, which was much needed because I woke up feeling kind of anxious this morning, which is unusual for me um these days yeah i feel like oh it's full moon today as well um full moon in scorpio so i definitely feel a little bit of heightened um emotions but i don't feel bad i just feel like i was like oh what is that like a little biting anxiety i feel a lot better after a stretch and a meditation and very happy that i got up early to do that but now i'm going to go for my routine morning swim in the tidal pool and at the moment the water is fucking cold and then i've got a therapy session and then i have got some work to do and then i'm thinking about maybe trying to have a walk on the mountain yeah it's going to be a very chilled vlog and yeah how are you guys doing what's up i'm so stoked to um be filming vlogs i'm just going to keep them simple i'm not going to overcomplicate them i just want to have fun with it look at this look at this beautiful plant Mm. Look how well this beautiful plant is doing. Got a new leaf coming through here as well. Hello, mate. This guy's doing really well as well. It's a painting I did last year. But yeah, nothing too exciting happening today. Just a basic vlog. Let's, um, let's see how the day unfolds. seen an octopus 
in this tidal pool before and it was the most incredible thing unfortunately I didn't have my phone with me at the time so I didn't capture it but maybe we'll find him again today um it's not too cold it's definitely fucking cold but it's not like it'd be really cool if I saw the octopus actually yeah so this is where I live at the moment and I absolutely love it Delaying dunking under by pretending to look for an octopus. But he lives over here apparently, so I'm gonna just check it out because the water's so clear that we might be able to see him. If ever we were gonna see him, it would be today. Check out these little sea urchins. Oh, I'm up to my nips. Woo! I would love to see the octopus so I can show you. So there's like a pipe down here that leads out where they, that's how they drain the, drain the tidal pool. And apparently he hangs out in there, he or she, the octopus hangs out in that pipe. But I'm not sure, because it's very well camouflaged. I feel like he's in the pipe. What do we think about the idea of poking my foot in the pipe just to see if it squishes? Is that a bad idea? So he's normally over this corner. Okay, let's have a little look and try not to slip. If you can wrangle him into the corner. I didn't expect this to turn into an octopus hunt, but here we are. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit cold, but I'm exploring these rock pools such a favorite thing to do when I was a kid and still a favorite thing is exploring rock pools. Luckily, the sun's also coming out and warming me up. It's such an interesting time of year in Cape Town because the sun is still cooking, but it definitely is getting colder. to just have a dip, a full dunk, because I've still got to get home and warm up before my therapy. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, this is my local tidal pool where I swim every single day. And it feels great. It does take me a little bit of time to warm up again. Oh my God, when the sun comes out again. Oh. Oh, finally warmed up. And I've got 10, 15 minutes until um, I'm dropping in for a session with my therapist. And these days, I get very excited about that. Anybody else? Anybody else love seeing their therapist or counselor or mentor or teachers? These epic humans who are helping, uh, helping us to navigate through life. I feel super lucky to have the therapist that uh, I work with though. Honestly, one of the best decisions I ever made. I'm, I, I'm lost for words. 
so valuable, so powerful, so insightful, just life changing. If you feel like in your life you might want to be making some big changes and you don't know exactly how to start doing it or what those changes look like, I highly recommend just giving it a go, asking for some help because there are so many people out there who's, who are literally professionals at helping people like you and me come into the awareness of things that might not be working for us in our lives then help us move through and make those changes that are, that you might want to make and that's certainly been the case for me insight awareness okay that comes from that that means i can do this differently i'm going to make this change and it's having such a positive impact on my life i love it um, but now I'm super hungry. I haven't really eaten yet today. I actually haven't eaten yet today. I've been in intermittent fasting a lot recently. Not eating um, after 6 p.m. And then not eating before like 10 or 11 a.m. the next day. And my energy is... Yeah, I mean, there's... Just Google the benefits of intermittent fasting. Or just try it yourself. Best way to uh, figure these things out, I find, is always to do your own research. Do I need my skateboard? Or am I going to walk? Look at this beautiful plant. Aren't you just delightful? Yes. Oh, baby. You know what? I love the simple life. Check these lines rolling in. Some swell, a butterfly, spiky bushes, sunshine, mountains. This is li literally is heaven for me. So this is Surfers Corner in Niesenberg. It's like the oldest surfing beach in South Africa. There's like surf ch shack where you hire a surfboard and this is where I like to go work. This place called the Commons. Like when I'm, um, when I've got a lot of energy, which you might have noticed in that last vlog, I've got, had a lot of energy, I get quite weird. And I was kind of judging myself as I was editing. I love to be weird. Like it just feels like me, um, just to be a little bit quirky, say things that are kind of serious, but not that serious. And talk about like existence and time and psychedelic space cowboy weird shit. That's just, I'm discovering that's just who I am and as I was editing I was like fuck do I leave these bits in um, I mean I find it funny maybe people won't find it funny but, but I was like fuck it this is me this is who I am I don't want to be a certain way just to make people feel more comfortable I'm weird that's just how it is and uh, it's more it's easy easier for me to be weird and just be myself on these videos than it is for me to like pretend otherwise I suppose so yeah um, but yeah I've had a fucking productive day I'm stoked with the video and uh, the website's up I'm definitely gonna be adding a few more photos to it 
as you will have seen by this video also, I've got some more Skillshare sponsorship coming through, which is just like a, such a blessing because, well, for multiple reasons, it's the universe also being like, yeah, you should continue making videos. And yeah, it just feels right and aligned and I'm not like selling something that I don't believe in. I'm like starting to make money again. So yes, things, I'm feeling fucking good basically is what I'm saying. I'm feeling good. What else? I want to give a fucking massive shout out to my day ones. You know who you are. Those of you who have been here from the start. Those of you who have been here for years. My family. My internet family. Without you, none of this would be possible. So if you've been around for a while, and even if you haven't been around for a while, even if this is the first video you've ever watched of mine, I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up button. Thank you for doing all the things that help me with the algorithms. Thank you for buying my prints, my merch. Thank you for liking my Instagrams. Yeah, I hope that you're getting something in return for this. I hope that you receive something that you need from these videos. Even if it's just a sh like to maybe remind you that life is fucking epic and that you're meant to be here and that you deserve love and you deserve to feel happiness and you are a divine, eternal being of light having a temporary human experience. Even if you just need reminding that you are... You are love. A bit of positive energy for you. That's what I'm going to be bringing. I'm going to keep it real on these videos. If I'm not feeling 100%, I'm going to tell you. If I'm feeling depressed, I'm going to tell you. If I'm having a bad day or I'm feeling anxious, I'm going to tell you. Because that's life. Life is fucking suffering. But I've, re I've realized recently, over and over and over again, that unless we go down here and we fucking hit rock bottom and we experience fucking the pain of existence, we actually don't get to appreciate or go anywhere near the joy um, of the ecstasy of what life can give us. And I've spent most of my life depressed in this middle bracket where I'm like refusing to feel low frequency emotions like anger, shame, guilt, sadness. I'm really like trying to stop myself from feeling bad. I felt guilty for feeling sad because I had so much privilege in my life. So I stayed in this depressed, because I wasn't going down here and really digging deep into the, what it feels like in the trenches of sadness, what it meant was that I was on a glass ceiling, so I also couldn't feel the full experience of life force energy running through me in a feeling of ecstatic joy. So if you're fucking finding yourself down here, don't worry about it. There's nothing wrong with you. Feel it. That's what I say. Fucking feel it. Because it won't last forever. This life doesn't last forever. Nothing ever lasts forever. Everything is temporary. And sometimes we have to really just feel those deep sad emotions and process them and cry them and bring them into our existence and look at them honestly and then move through them and then what I've found in my experience is when I do that this I then start to go like this up again and I'm experiencing more joy more presence more love more enthusiasm for life than I ever dreamed possible. So yeah, in case you needed a little bit of encouragement today, keep going. I believe in you. You are needed here. And I fucking love you. And being a human is weird. It's just how it is. It's just a weird one, okay? It's complicated sometimes.
Yo, yo, yo. It's 10 past eight in the evening. Oh, I made a vlog, put it live. I fiddled with the website and gave it some little swifty fucking effects on the home page. I ate well today, I drank plenty of water. Life is good. Editing the vlog today took me like three hours. So that's um, pretty sustainable. I'm not going like too overboard with the editing. And I love skateboarding to and from the place. Full moon is a time of harvest. It's like the, the equivalent of peak season, summer. New moon is generally a time of um, sowing of seeds, uh, the start of a new cycle. Check this out, I wrote this on my mirror. You control how you play. Um, and I'm actually, after today's therapy session, I'm gonna change the word control to choose. I saw some performance coach talk about how when he's working with athletes, the main foundational thing that he says to them is like, you can't control the weather. You can't control your teammates. You can't control what the crowd is saying or doing. You can't control what the opposite team are doing. You can't control what the referee is gonna choose. There's so much that's out of our control. The only thing as a player in a game that you can control is how you play as an individual. The choices that you make are in your control. I have choice, you have choice. I like to think of this life as um, a bit of a computer game. Feels certainly feels like a fucking computer game some of the time. Very real one. I, I can choose how I play. I have control over that. So if I'm focusing on all the things that are outside of my choices, rather than focusing on the choices that I have, then I'm giving away my power and my energy and I'm wasting time focusing on things that aren't even in my control. So yeah, that's what that's all about. And I didn't make it, I didn't mean to have it like so cool with all the graffiti drips, but um, I drew it on there and then I had a shower and the steam kind of made it. Anyway, thanks for checking out the new website and thank you to anybody who might have maybe even purchased the print already. Go and check me out on my Instagram. Go and check out my Patreon if you want to see and hear kind of content around my healing journey, uh, around the insights and lessons that I'm receiving. Check that out, it's also linked below. We've got like a hundred people now on the Patreon um, community. I upload videos there pretty much weekly and I do these like mini podcast voice notes as well. See you guys in the next video. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys, goodbye.